Hello, my name is Richard Harrison. I'm a barrister at One King's Bench Walk. I'm Catherine Gieve, I'm a solicitor, um, and I retired from Bynum's. Catherine, as you know, you and I are both on the editorial board of Herschel and McFarlane. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the book. What, what is your understanding of the origins of the book, how it came to be written in the first place by, by Andrew and David? Well, what I understand is this, it's quite curious for me, that, that, that they wanted to write a book about the old law, the Children and Persons Act, the Children Act 1948, because they felt there wasn't anything really very well organised um, on that law. And, and they, were, they were planning that when, um, when, when someone pointed out to them that all these preparations were being made for a new Children Act and, and said to them, really, you know, that's what you've got to focus on which is not just a limited area of the law, it's not just care proceedings, it's the whole law related to children. So it suddenly became a, 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 whole, a wholly different enterprise from what they'd originally planned. Well, well complete, completely different. And, and, and actually, as, as we know, it isn't just limited now to the Children Act, it's really all law relating to children. I mean, absolutely. I mean, the Children Act um, is covered in great detail in the book, but, but the book is far from... Um, a book about the act. It uh, covers, uh, you know, numerous other areas. Yeah, I, I think, and, and, and sometimes you don't have to go to them terribly often, but I think, for example, the fostering regulations or the inter-country adoption um, regulations in law, I mean, there's a whole sphere of, of, of everything relating to children there. Including international um, children law. There are sections on international adoption, of abduction, and some of the jurisdictional provisions. And, and I think which is an area of law that's developed enormously over the last over the last 30 years. Well, one of the things I understand from, from Andrew McFarlane is that both he and David Hirschman were very keen to have a book that was that had a practical emphasis. Um, how do you think they, they've achieved that? Well, I think, I think they have achieved it successfully. I mean, there, there are various sort of tables, you know, relocation, for example, um, you see a whole sort of a table about what's, what's relevant, which is, which is really helpful. It is. It makes it a lot more accessible, doesn't it, for the reader, yeah. when, when you have uh, things shown in diagrammatic form like that. I think that, I mean, it is, it is really an easy book to use. I think that's what I like about it. You know, it's sort of well-organised and well-structured and and so it's, it's a great book to use. And do you remember when you first came into contact with it? Well, I think, I mean, I can't remember exactly, but I think that, that in, in the office we just knew it was the book we had to have when the Children Act came in. It was the book on the Children Act, and, and really the text that we'd had before, although they had the sort of marginal use, usefulness. I mean, they really faded from, from they, they, they lost importance, and so we got, we got the new, we got the new hush running like farm and, and and that became our, our Bible. Yeah. I mean I, I mean, I certainly remember when I started in Chambers, it was it was very much the only book to have and um, that's remained the case. It, it is the case now, and it's it's also the case that judges have on their on, on their desks. And, and do you think it's been a, an important book from the perspective of the solicitor's profession? I think it's been absolutely invaluable. I think it is, as I say, I think it's the, you know, anyone who's a children law practitioner needs to have that book and, and also the updating is very effective. That's three times a year, isn't it? Uh, and, and, and so that's, that's, very, that's very helpful. And I think also the guide to the Children Act which comes with it is, is also very helpful. So yeah, I mean, in, in, in my team at Byman's, that's what, that's what everyone went to. And, and of course, people who are younger than me have gone to the online version. Yeah. So, I mean, do you use the online version generally? I, I do, well, I use both. I use both the paper version and, and the online version. Um, I mean, I've always found it extremely helpful in preparing cases to, to use that as a first port of call because it, it has so many detailed case references that it allows you, and I think in the online version you can get direct links to some of the cases, yeah. it allows you to, to access them pretty quickly and to identify the relevant passages that you need to cite and, and to build your arguments from there. Yeah, so you can sort of take chunks and... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.